here's a little word that you might have seen and wondered about, and that's congruent. You may have seen the word congruent, and in terms of maths, you might have seen a question where it says, which shapes below are congruent to each other? Even in life, you may have heard the word congruent. Usually, when people talk about it, I know this is digressing into English now, but I love doing that with words. But you might have heard incongruous. Two things are incongruous. And what that means, basically, is they are completely different. They are completely incompatible. Like, how are those two things together? Like, a clown at a funeral would be incongruous. Now, in is, is the opposite. So, you can guess then that congruous or congruent means exactly the same. Notice it's even more strict than similar. I've done another video about similar shapes where things have to be the same shape but they can be different sizes. Well congruent is even more strict. It has to be exactly the same shape and exactly the same size. In fact, let's have a little quiz. Which of these shapes are congruent? Well, my eye is first drawn to these rectangles here. These two. You might ask, but one's kind of flipped um, horizontally. It doesn't actually matter if the shape has been moved around. All that matters is, it, is that it's the same shape and the same size. And these two rectangles are the same shape and the same size. Notice this one down here is not congruent. This rectangle here is not congruent because it's a different size to those other two rectangles. What else? I can see these two triangles are congruent because they're the same triangle but just flipped upside down. They're definitely congruent. What other shapes are congruent? Yep, I can see this pentagon and this pentagon are indeed congruent. How about this pentagon? Well, no, because that is actually bigger than the other pentagons. So it's not congruent. You, you might even say it's incongruous to the other pentagons. And this square here is completely on its own, so it's not congruent to anything. That gives you an idea about what congruency is. And in later videos, we'll talk about how to prove if two shapes are congruent using angles and lengths.